Hey y'all, come with us to Santa Monica Pier. We're starting up a bit up north at this beautiful Arizona Avenue pedestrian bridge over PCH. As soon as we saw it, I had to stop and take some pictures. Let me know in the comments, which one should I keep? Once we crossed it, we were able to appreciate it way more. Now, you can't park closer to the pier. Since we've been here several times, we try to get views from different sites. As a matter of fact, you can tell from the picture around this corner, there is more parking. And we have arrived to my happy place, which is the beach. I mean, any beach, really. All right, so one of the many things that this wonderful beach has is bathrooms up and down. And they're clean, spacious bathrooms. You do see trash cans everywhere. Uh, we see Santa Monica Pier over here on the left-hand side, which we're going to make our way over. At the end of these bathrooms, you will find showers, which for me, it's awesome. By the way, all of this is free. We haven't spent one single cent yet. Now, they, do, uh, they did add this boardwalk right here. Now, not every beach has it. Since we're so close to Santa Monica Pier, that's probably why they have it here. But it's so handy, y'all if you have a stroller, a cooler, uh, if you just don't want to back, walk back to your car with sandy feet, this to me was awesome. Now, you guys do see the tire tracks on the sand and that's from the lifeguards. I've been coming over here for so many times, never ever have I ever seen an incident happen. Now, at, towards the end of the video, when we walk to back towards the car, uh, a different way, I guess the normal way most people take, you will see a lot of homeless along the way, uh, but like I said, so far, no issues. Now, this is new to me. They added this sunscreen uh, station here, which I thought was awesome. Uh, it was first time seeing it, but like I said, and all of this is free, y'all. <laughs> like, it's free. Anyways, let's make our way over to Santa Monica Pier. As we make our way to Santa Monica Pier, we come up to our first fun fact. This place was used to carry treated sewage past the breakers, but in 1909, it opened as an entertainment pier. It is 113 years old, y'all. Which brings me to a friendly public announcement. When y'all come, please, please be respectful of the rules and the people. Uh, there used to be a muscle beach just a bit south from here, but they had to close it down because guys were harassing the ladies. So, please respect each other and respect the beach. Okay, enough about that. Let's look under the pier. This brings us to another fun fact. This pier took about 16 months to finish. It ended up being 1,600 feet long. That's not the fun part. But this was the first concrete pier on the West Coast, which actually helped a lot because weather really tried to take down this pier. But unfortunately, it couldn't. And yes, this, this uh, pier is full of entertainment, shops, food, all that good stuff. But it's also really famous for fishing. Now, no, you do not need a fishing license to fish off the pier. But no commercial fishing is allowed. Okay, let's get to our main course, which is the pier. Let's go. But before that, I just wanted to show you really quick what a vibe Santa Monica Pier is. Even before you even set foot on the pier, they do have street vendors all along here. They do have showers right here on the left-hand side, which for me, like I said before, is a must. Okay, let's go up the stairs and get to the pier. Alright, so right away, we see the Santa Monica Police, so... Make sure you behave. And that's the entrance if you're coming from the street. Uh, pretty much they usually have that close and you just walk down. Bubba Gump is the first thing you're gonna see right here. Now, usually when we come to the pier, it's always a planned trip. Why? Because I usually don't uh, enjoy having too many people for a long period of time, but honestly, right now when it was way more lit up, it had such a different vibe than when it's pretty empty now we do see a whole bunch of vendors along the way but we did hear a lot of commotion uh down the pier so we're gonna go ahead and make our way uh down the pier to see what they got going on sure i probably won't be able to see what's your name homie yeah everybody say hi jack say good luck we made it to the commotion. Unfortunately, I'm too short and can't see over, but up ahead is where you can fish off the pier. Now let's go check Pacific Park before we leave.
All right, let's check out this right here. Pacific Art. All right, so we have a coffee bean place right here. I like the decor. I don't like coffee. I'm um, just not about it. Uh, but that's a nice decor, nice vibe. Uh, all right, so we have some funnel cakes, ice cream, scoops. That's a good vibe for the beer. We got some burgers, some pizza, some fish tacos. Route US 66. We got the Ferris wheel, that's cool. Got this dragon over here. You gotta pay to get in though and participate and all of that. We're probably not gonna go in there because we have to go back to the car. But it's pretty dope. So all of this is like lit up in the at night and it looks really really dope. So if you're gonna if you only have one chance to come, my suggestion is do it at night. And that takes us to our last fun fact, the Santa Monica 66 end of trail. And that's literally what it is. It is the end of the 60, Highway 66. Now, let's get out of here and show you the normal way people come in. All right, so that's the parking. That's where you park. And then down, you can either, there's some stairs over there. You just walk and come up the stairs. Uh, or like I said, there's the another entrance over there. There's street parking all along there and all along there bring coins obviously there are days that like for example today oh well it was supposed to be free because it's supposed to be a holiday but it, it wasn't on this side so definitely carry on coins and cash that's one thing i've learned about california carry, carry around coins and cash <laughs> not every place accepts card oh and you're not supposed to be riding scooters over here even on the app, it won't let you. I don't know why that did. Oh, it's probably not a, a rented scooter, but there's signs all over the place. You can't ride electronic stuff over here. So, I mean, obviously you guys see the people. So please listen to the rules. And we made it to the end of Colorado Street, which is the beginning of Santa Monica Pier. And look at this famous and beautiful sign. You guys, I love this sign. Every time I come, I try to take a picture of it. All right, let's get back to the car. As we can see, Santa Monica is not only a vibe on the pier, but also outside. Everyone's chilling, hanging out, having a good time. Uh, they're street vendors, so when y'all come, please respect the vibe. Okay, that's going to do it for us. Thank y'all for staying till the end. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any suggestions where to go next that's economical, please let us know. See y'all till the next adventure.